I knocked to be polite, but walked in to remind you I have a key. Shush, Zelina. We're watching football. Coming up next, another Bermuda talk show. Ah! Change the channel, quick! Phew, crisis averted. When I left for work, you were watching TV. Now I'm back and you're still watching TV, but this time with Dumb and Dumber. Mm. Anyway, what time is it? I'm supposed to pick up my daughter from dance rehearsal today. You mean you're asking me to drive you to pick her up, Mr. 28 with no license? Yeah, that. Yo, Zerlina, you're a woman of a certain age. We ain't gonna hurry up and have a kid. Definitely ain't getting any younger over her. Funny little man, when are you gonna finally wean off your rich daddy's teeth and stop having to shop in the kids section? Stop it, you lot. There's no time for fighting. It's Christmas! And you two need to be in your best behavior because I'm gonna make sure that Danny's Christmas is drama free. Wait, aren't Danielle's rehearsals finished at five? It's quarter to seven. Ah! Daddy's coming! Jingle bells, dreamer smiles, your ace boy laid an egg. Crap, 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 crap. Wow, for it to be Christmas time, everything sure is bald headed. Where's all the decorations? Can't you drive any faster? You should have told me you needed a ride earlier. You gotta deal with Danny being mad at you either way now. Yikes, it's Cat. Wagwan, Shata. Wagwan is you. Two hours late to pick up your daughter from dance class? And don't you think for a second you're keeping Danielle on Christmas Eve? Wait, what? I never. Don't! My child is very precocious. She gets it from me, of course. She told me all about your stupid Christmas Eve swim plan. Now, hold on. You want to catch hypothermia on the day of baby Jesus? That's your own foolishness. But we agreed. I get the night of Eve to the morning of day, and you get the afternoon of day to the morning of boxing. Cat. Don't tempt me, old boy, because I will drive down to number eight Bakerway and make your brother an only child. Uh... All right. Nice chatting with you, Mateo. Let's not make a habit of it. Well, she's always pleasant. Anyway, folks, and then let's go to the callers and give them a chance to yell at the Premier over the radio waves. Caller, you're on the air. Afternoon, I'd like to yell at the Premier over the radio waves. So, Danny, how was dance rehearsal? It was fine two hours ago. I'm really sorry about that. I was busy watching old football games with your trust fund baby of a best friend. Yeah, it's fine. I'm used to it. Uh, so Danielle, have you already asked Santa what you want for Christmas? Aunt Zelina, I don't insult your intelligence by pretending there isn't something romantic going on between you and my father. So please don't insult mine with such a question. Of course I have. Uh, wanna tell me what you asked for? No. Okay then. Be nice, Danny. I know you're disappointed the Christmas parade is cancelled this year, so I was thinking we could have our own mini parade at the house. You and your little cousin can make floats, and I can get Uncle Toru and Uncle Cory to be gumbays. Daddy, you taught me respect, so I mean this in the most respectful way possible. But I'd rather pluck off my toenails and catch cancer than act out one of your wacky ideas for Christmas. <sighs> it's just not going to be the same without the real parade. Oh, come on. We're still having Christmas dinner at Nana and Papa's. Do you even like doing that? God, no. But that's besides the point. Look. You're gonna have a Christmas so crisp, so lit, so wicked, you're gonna think you're in one of those cheesy TV specials. But I don't want a crisp, lit, or wicked Christmas. I just want a normal, non-police involving Christmas. You're gonna have the best non-police involved Christmas. How about that? Mateo, I'm driving! Great sign of things to come, Daddy. Come on, Don, to Akira's Beauty Salon. I spent a lot of money on making this pointless commercial advertising my business that everybody on the island already knows about. So you know I'm legit. Not that my baby safe at home with her evil succubus of a mama. It's eggnog time. Everybody fack off. Evening. Yes, I'd like a large pineapple and onion pizza. Evening. Uh, can I also get a... Evening. Evening. That'll be $17.99. Uh... Thank you. Merry Christmas. Mm. Can you get your little contraption under control? Why is it putting another Jesus on the tree? It's just a decoration. Eggnog? But it's an unnecessary decoration, and this tree only has so much space. 
Look, we already have a Jesus. A more accurate Jesus. Egno! I don't know. I feel like this one better represents a guy who was born in the Middle East. I'm gonna punch you to the Middle East, little man. Whoa! So much aggression! What's up with this? What's up with you lot? What's up with everyone? They just need more eggnog. Yum. No one on this island is acting like it's Christmas. I was at Marketplace and that pretty cashier told me happy holidays. But you know, don't bring that here. What happened to the Christmases we used to have? Baking up, opening presents, playing in the snow. You grew up in Canada. No snow here, boo. Then maybe that's the problem. Um... I have an idea. <laughs> Eggnog! Hey, let me know if you need any help. Thanks, we're fine. Shopping sucks, especially when you're a broke entrepreneur. I don't even know what to get Danny that her mama won't get for her. Or that Santa's not getting her. Now nah, that's a shame. Black man always being snubbed by old white guys. Even imaginary ones. Danny is a very mature child, and she knows your financial situation. She'll like whatever you get her. Except for socks. That's not cute. You need any help now? No, we're still fine. Ooh, what about this? A Tanya doll in a house thing set. A Bermudian made doll line with a face that looks like hers. Oh, that's adorable. Danny will love it. Yes, she will. How did you- You butt dialed me, dummy. Mrs. Claus already got our daughter the racial diversity doll set. What? Then what's Mr. Claus supposed to get her? Maybe a father who earns more than 20k a year. Anyway, I'm actually glad your backside bothered me. On Christmas, we're having gumbays come late in the afternoon. I don't want Danny to miss them, so she's gonna be just a teeny bit late for dinner at your parents. Late? No way! I'll come get her myself! I wouldn't. Uncle Ramses is coming, and you know he likes to carry around those machetes in the back of his truck. He named one after you, actually. <laughs> anyway, Ta, darling. Tell Zelina I send my love, and good luck. Uh, it's okay, Teo. We'll just keep looking. No, can't you see what she's doing? She's purposely trying to make me look bad. Well, if it's war she wants, it's war she'll get. Need help now? Will you get out of here? Dear Tail, please don't be a stubborn ass. Use this money to get Danny something she'll love. She deserves it, and so do you. Merry Christmas, you bimpered. Love, Z. All right, bye, sweetums. Christmas Eve will be here, and I'll be back before you know it. Don't forget to thank Miss Ming for looking out for you. Until then, smooches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jingles. And now back to Frosty 4, Frosty's Revenge. The science was in. Look at it, Corey. A snow machine built with your two hands, my one big brain, and some help from a bunch of YouTube tutorials. Mm. Let's test the oat. No, let's see. And just press the green button, and voila! Like magic, you've defied all logic and created your own miniature snowstorm, darling. Yeah! The people of Bermuda are gonna feel the Christmas spirit. And they're gonna like it! Nay, love it! Hurry! <laughs> it's beautiful! Mmm! Well, Christmas ain't
wait for another few days? Let's give it another go! Mm. The Kahal crows at night. What? Never mind. I'm here to see if you can get me something for Christmas. Only very stupid or very desperate people come to me for Christmas. Well, I'm an entrepreneur. Say no more. My address is... No need. We know. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Z. No problem. Your parents love me. My parents hate you. I think this is the best way to spend Christmas afternoon for all of us. Sorry, am I boring you? No, just checking time. Gotta keep track of Danny's Christmas surprise. New ringtone. Woo -hoo. Me and Zelina are here. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Uncle Teo! Jingle bells, primer spells, a spot late neck! Zelina and I, son. Merry Christmas. Zelina, my dear, so good to see you. Still no child, I see. Oh, Nana, oh boy, good to see you too. Well, you look good, honey. Would you like some eggnog? Should be some in the fridge. Nog? Wait, no, not yet. Gotta wait for it to get here. I hope the it you're referring to isn't my great niece, Boo. Aunt Raven, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Boo. Where's my precious little Danny? Her mama should be bringing her by any minute. Any minute, huh? So you're still at the mercy of your child's mother's will. A shame. Good thing she has a strong figure like me in her life that she can emulate. Remember how I could still return your Christmas gift? Remember how you won't? Wait, what is that dirt? <laughs> Ooh, fun castle! Filled! Filled! Robbie, don't get too close to that. Mateo, what is this monstrosity? It's Danny's Christmas present. Her mama thinks she's the only one who can make ridiculous over-the-top gestures at being the favorite parent. A fun castle? On Christmas? Are you dumb? Yes. I mean, no. Danny's gonna love it. Right. Your daughter who hates large gestures is gonna love this. Well, I'm gonna go help your parents set the table. I'm sure Danny will enjoy jumping around in the dark. If she manages to even get here before New Year's Eve. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm lonely. She'll be here soon, Teo. Stop watching the clock. It only makes time go slower. <laughs> Danny? Merry Christmas, family. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! What the devil is that in the yard? Just in time for dinner, eh, big bro? What took you so long to get here? And did you see Catherine's car on the way here? Unlike you, I have other friends who actually want to spend Christmas with me. And no. Oh, Mateo, you've been a stranger these past few weeks. Has your business been keeping you busy? Yeah, big brother. How is that business of yours going? What is it you're selling again? Colorful underwear? They're Bermuda shorts, little brother. And yeah, business has been kind of slow because, you know, pandemic and it's winter and what had happened was. My 28-year-old son is too lazy to get a real job and provide for his daughter. I knew he should have sent your tail to boarding school. At this point, I'd rather you have abandonment issues. Well, I think we should have a lovely, family-friendly, non-controversial Christmas dinner conversation. So what are all your thoughts on the new airport? Well, I don't see why we have to get Canada to lay the new airport right now. Well, it's officially 15 hours into Christmas. And after about 15 hours of translating French instructions, She's finished. The first functional Bermuda snow machine. Hmm, but we should probably use it in a place that would get the most attention. Aha! 
You're a genius, Toru. City Hall, here we come. Hit it, Cory. Mmm. Magnifique. I'm sorry you had to see that, sweetheart. But once that lanky gumbe managed to pry the machete out of your uncle's hands, everything else was fun, right? Yeah, cops in the yard for Christmas. My favorite. If anything happens, you tell your father to bring you right back home, you hear me? What in the name of baby Jesus is that abomination in the yard? Hey, Catherine, good to see you actually brought my daughter to Christmas dinner before midnight. Ugh, whatever, I'm here now. Are you going to make my child jump around in that eyesore for Christmas? That was your present? How did you even afford it? Hey, I don't watch your pockets, don't watch mine. And you don't get to bring my child two hours late to her family's Christmas dinner and then bring that It is just like you to make a scene out of this. And in front of your parents' house, it's always about you, isn't it? Me? You're the one with the gumbays at your house on Christmas. Danny doesn't like that type of stuff. Ooh, look at me. I've got money to make the peasants dance with me on the holidays. Glass house, old boy. That unsightly splotch is clearly you living beyond your means with your typical blustering bravado. Just because you say big words doesn't make you any less of a- Stop! All I wanted was a normal Christmas. This year I spent months away from my friends cooped up with either of you two, one trying to outdo the other. We get to what's supposed to be my favorite time of the year, and it's just more of the same. As evidenced by both of your cartoonish Christmases, no one's been listening to me. You're both just trying to seem like the better parent. Well, right now you're acting like babies, and you're ruining Christmas. Danny, come back out here. Sweetheart, get out of that death trap. No, I'm safer in here than out there with you two Christmas killers. I'm not coming out till you two stop acting dopey. All right, Corey, are you ready to make history? Mm. Let it snow, baby. <laughs> Stars of something, something. Eggnog was always my favorite thing about the holiday. Look, for the sake of our daughter, and in the spirit of the season, I apologize. It was wrong of me to bring her so late. Thank you. And I should probably apologize to you and Danny for making Christmas a gift competition between us. Oh, Mateo. It's not a competition. I'd win that. But I suppose I should apologize to her as well. I must admit, Christmas makes me feel a little guilty. Guilty? Why? Well, I'm usually away on business trips throughout the year, and when I'm back, I always bring Danny a gift. When Christmas time comes, the gift feels a lot less special. And being with her throughout this year, she's been, been telling me all the things you do with her, and I suppose I might have been compensating just a tad. Whoa, this is a Christmas miracle. The Ice Queen Catherine Hartley has feelings? That's the most you've opened up to me in the 15 years we've known each other. Don't get used to it. Let's call this a Christmas truce. Truce. Hey bro, get in here and see this. Your idiot friends on the news. It appears two males in their late 20s brought a snow machine to the city hall front lawn before they unleashed synthetic snow into the air. The entire city of Hamilton has been covered in a sheet of frost. Wow, a white Christmas in Bermuda. How nice. The two men have since been taken into police custody. Merry Christmas to all, and to all please support this so it can turn into a series. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm pregnant. You what?!